All right, I got up early again to catch another uh, rocket launch. Um, again, I'm in the same spot um, that I put the coordinates out for before. This is just taking some pictures uh, before the launch. I seen how hazy the sky was. There were clouds out there uh, or fog. Um, so it did block me out a little bit. But it was still, all in all, it was a pretty cool uh, launch to be able to catch it from 115 miles away. Um, so again, I, I'll play a little bit of the natural audio and then I'm going to break in. There it is. Yeah, I guess they do get it off the ground here. Look at it, it's going in a totally different trajectory today. I'm going to tighten up my tripod. Have it a little too loose. All right. Um, out of the four or five that I've already filmed, none of them have ever gone toward the north like this one was. Um, it was really heading uh, uh, pretty heavily north. And also... Um, What's really funny is you see a point where um, it almost looks like it's coming back um, like toward the east or, or toward the west, northwest. Because uh, just the way you see the front end of it, it just gives you the impression. I mean, it might be an optical illusion. It might just give us uh, this. And there went the booster rockets a, little, a couple seconds ago. Um but what's really cool is, you know, when you catch it with the sunlight um, and the sky getting blue in the sky um, or more lighting comes in. This is where it was a little lighter, higher up than those clouds were. Um, so as he, it, it gets up there, um, you start noticing the sky uh, or this trail that it's leaving. And oh my God, I can imagine, can you imagine the fumes that are coming off this thing? Um, the tox, toxic fumes. <laughs> you want to talk about polluters? Hey, global warming right there, buddy. I mean, not only are you putting out all that crap in the air, but you're also uh, putting a lot of heat out there, aren't, aren't they? Um, so hey, maybe NASA's causing all this global warming. Something to think about. But this is what's cool. Uh, when you catch it early in the morning like this or catch it where you don't have too much light on it and you can actually see it. Um, it's great. Because it gives you a whole different perspective. But as this thing uh, works or uh, flies, goes across the sky. That's what it's going. It's doing, folks. See, this thing is not going up. It's going out and away. Out in the way. Because watch when it does its little, uh, oh, it does its little burst. Um, and it's going to be up in the upper left hand corner when it does. Uh, about another minute. Uh, but when it does that, um, you'll see it go down. I mean, it's almost like it shoots downward um, to the lower left hand corner. Again, this, this thing is not. I mean, I don't know, people, I mean, you judge for yourself, but for me, this thing is not going into space. Yeah, it, it looks like it's doing this, um, you know, marvelous flight across the sky, but um, in my opinion, um, it's, it's not going to space. I mean, it actually looks like it's slowing down. <laughs> Yeah. 
You think this thing's gonna make it to space at that speed? When you look at the missiles when they launch them uh, during war, you know, the missiles with the bombs on them or the rockets with the bombs on them. But look at how this thing is right here in the front of it. You notice how it, it looks like it's more coming back? <laughs> back to, uh, back toward me? I mean, I, I don't know if that's just the way the lights lighten that up or not, but that's the impression that I get from it. And then right here is where it's fixing to do its little booster thing. Now, I slowed this part down 50%, so it is going slower because of the, the slowdown 50%, but I did that only to um, show that right there. Boom. And then watch it. Here, watch it in the left corner. Yeah, lighten up. Boom, there it goes. Ha! <laughs> ha! What you doing way down there, there, Mr. Rocket? Alright, well, that was pretty much uh, it, folks. Um, it got over in the trees uh, because I was not really ready for it to be going um, toward the north. And there was a tree there. And uh, that tree itself really was blocking me out um, from where the rocket actually went. Um, what you've seen there was probably a star. Um, I, I picked up a star the other night when I was out there or the other morning or the other evening. All right, and then I took some pictures um, afterward. Uh, they're just, uh, you know, the trail that it left in the sky. Um, you know, I can hang up, don't watch it, whatever. Uh, I just always like to pop off a couple pictures uh, after it goes up and goes across the sky. Does that look like it's going up to you, to the to space people? Come on. Wow. If that looks like that's going to space people, uh, then you need to re-examine your, your, uh, your thought process or something, because that, to me, is not going to space. Pretty obvious. Pretty darn obvious. Again, so, uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Um, I, I found some uh, pretty interesting uh, video the other day that I, I'm going to probably make some videos out of. It's some testing that I did with uh, uh, my little fake plastic boat that I made to go in my gutter and kind of show you what water does. Uh, mirages, mirroring effects and all. But uh, I might put them out here. might put one out this evening. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a good day. Merry Christmas.